Hey guys, Josh here from Electric Scooter Insider and this time we have a special unboxing of one of the most popular scooters that has been voted for time and time again by you, the riders. We have the Mantis Pro Special Edition. So let's jump right in. Okay, let's open it up. <laughs> I like the gold trim. It looks a little bit like if you mixed the original Mantis, so just the Mantis Pro, with the Wolf King. If you combine those two, this is the type of scooter you get, I would imagine, with the gold trim and then the black of the original Mantis. It looks good, but let's take a closer look. That was an absolute fail. Oh, I've turned the lights on. <laughs> How did that happen? How have I managed to do that? Okay, let's turn this off. As with most performance scooters, all you need to do is attach the handlebars to the steering column. And to do that, you'll be provided with a bank of Allen wrenches. So once you've got this locking clamp off the top of the steering column, the next step is simply just to align your handlebars with the handlebar stem. You will see this slightly rigid area here, and that's the area that you wanna line up with the steering column. And that is the assembly of the Mantis Pro SE. Very simple. If you are here because you don't know whether the Mantis Pro SE is the right scooter for you and possibly you're looking at the other original Mantis, so the Mantis Pro and the Mantis base models, don't worry, I'm gonna go through exactly what the differences are between those three scooters throughout the review and then we'll do a recap at the end as well. And hopefully that'll help you guys decide which one of the three Manti models are right for you. Now, starting with the handlebars, you're gonna notice that they are quite wide and there's good reason for that. The Mantis Pro SE has dual 60 volt, 1000 watt motors. They're gonna propel you up to 40 miles per hour and give you an acceleration rate of zero to 50 miles per hour in just two seconds. That's the same as the original Mantis Pro, but these wide handlebars are going to afford you good control and stability when you're hitting those top speeds. On either side of the handlebars, you have your brake levers. Both feel nicely modulated. They feel smooth to operate, just like on the Mantis Pro. You also have your eye mini motors display. Now, this thing is known as the industry as being the best display you can get. Typically on performance scooters, you will either get a QS S4 display or the eye mini motor display. Which one's better? The iMini motor display, it gives you a lot more customization so you can tailor the scooter to your preference. For example, you can adjust the acceleration speed, 
So adjust the torque, but also your regenerative brake strength as well. And as part of the iMini motor display, you have your integrated trigger throttle right here. Then below the display, you have your motor selection button, so you can control whether you are in eco or turbo mode, as well as whether you're using a single motor or a dual motor. Now you'll notice that their design is a little bit different from what you may have seen on other performance scooters. They're no longer yellow and red, they're just completely black, but it is an improved design. It's a lot more ergonomic to use on your thumb and they're waterproof, but it is still hard to tell which mode you're in just from looking at the buttons. So you'll need to use your display and just feel of the scooter, but it's pretty easy to get used to that very quickly. Then as we move across to the handlebars on the left side, you simply have the button for the light, which as you would have seen earlier, I accidentally clicked and turned on. So I've kind of given that away from the scooter, but the lights are pretty nice on the scooter. It does lack a headlight, which we'll talk about a little bit later but most performance scooters, the headlights aren't that great anyway, and you tend to have to buy an additional one that you can attach to the handlebars and mount it up high. Then to close up on the handlebars, you have the foam hand grips. Now I'm not the biggest fan of foam hand grips simply because they deteriorate quicker than rubber hand grips. So that's just something for you to keep in mind, but all Manti models come with foam hand grips. So there's no getting around that really. One thing I do really like about the handlebars is just the gold trim on the end. It's just a nice little design feature. It goes quite well with the gold swing arms as well. It looks pretty cool. So next up, let's move our way down the stem. So we have a new reinforced stem here. They've also put a, a better stem bolt in here as well, which will keep the stem from wiggling and you won't get any stem wobble, which on performance scooters, unfortunately, you get the majority of the case. The newer models have come out like the Apollo Phantom, which you can see a review of on my channel um, and scooters like the V set 10 or the V set nine. Those sort of scooters have triple locking mechanisms that lock the stem into place and reduce stem wobble. It's the same with the Mantis Pro SE. You're not gonna get any stem wobble with this scooter. One thing that is quite good about the Mantis Pro SE is that the stem locks into the deck so it makes it a little more portable. So you can see here, I can lift this up. Mind you, it's not a portable scooter. I think it weighs 65 pounds. It's not gonna be a scooter you're gonna to wanna to use for commuting or taking on public transport. You can do that, of course, but there are smaller, more compact scooters that are more suited to the commuting lifestyle, like the Horizon, which you can also see a video of on my channel. Let's just have a look at how the stem actually locks in to the deck. So on the back of the handlebars here, you have a little latch. Now that latch loops in to a small hook on the back of the deck and then you're good to just lift the scooter up and away you go. As part of the stem, we obviously have the folder mechanism. So let's take a quick look at that. So all you're going to need to do is unhook the latch from the deck, bring the stem up, let the collar clamp fall into place, and then simply tighten the collar clamp so it keeps the stem locked in. Simply just hold the quick release lever twist this little knob on the other side to get it nice and tight and then push the quick release lever in and just to show you in terms of stem wobble there's no stem wobble whatsoever give this a good shake you can see it's not moving anywhere okay let's get the stem back down and you can see how quickly it is to fold this scooter There we go, it's as simple as that. Very easy, very quick. Then you can just pick it up, walk off, take it up the stairs, into your apartment, into a shop, wherever you need to go in quick succession. Now let's move down to the neck of the scooter. You're gonna see the branding here. It feels nice and sturdy, good build quality. Then you've got the front fender here. Now we'll talk about the rear fender in a little bit because there is room for improvement there. But you've got the front fender, the big 10 inch air filled tires, and then you have your disc brakes here. Now the disc brakes, they are Zoom hydraulic disc brakes and you have those on either wheel. Now the difference between the brakes and the other Manti models is that the Mantis base has semi-hydraulic brakes. So this scooter versus Mantis base, 
this scooter wins. It's got better braking performance. Then when you compare this scooter with the Mantis Pro, they both have hydraulic brakes, so braking power is equal. But here's the kicker. The Mantis Pro SE is a lot cheaper than the Mantis Pro. So if you wanna save a bit of money and get the best brakes, best bang for your buck, then go for the Mantis Pro SE. Then you have these big 10 inch airfield tires. The tread on them is primed for street racing and road riding. But if you wanna take the Mantis Pro SE off-road, you can do that. And it's gonna perform best on light off-roading trails. So by that, I mean forest trails, dirt paths, and compacted mud and grassy areas, you'll be absolutely fine. If you want a more extreme off-road riding experience, I would opt for the Mantis Pro's big, big brother, the Wolf Warrior or the Wolf King, if you can stretch that far. Both those scooters, they are more expensive than the Mantis Pro SE, but they are primed for off-roading and taking on treacherous terrain. Then moving our way into the scooter here, we have the gold swing arms. Now, this really is a main component of what makes the Mantis Pro SE Special Edition different from the other Manti models. This gold trim is exclusive to Vora Motors in the US. So if you like the look of it, you wanna get yourself over there and pick up one of these scooters. I'll drop a link to that in the description below to make it easy for you guys. I think it looks pretty cool. It's just a slight detail, also highlighted by your gold rings on the end of the handlebar stems there as well. This scooter is like a combination between the Mantis Pro and the Wolf King, which is completely gold. This is kind of a nice middle ground between that. If you don't want to be too flashy, but you still like the idea of a little highlight of gold, it's a good look, I like it. As part of the swing arm suspension, you need the spring as well. And you'll find the spring at the front here and also one at the rear here. So it's got dual suspension, both sides of the scooter It's well equipped for those light off-road trails I was talking about. It's also gonna give you a buttery smooth ride across urban terrain. Moving our way to the deck, we have two front button lights, then you have the LED strip along the side of the scooter, and at the rear, you have two rear button lights as well. Now those button lights are gonna be your tail lights, but also your brake lights as well. Again, as with most performance scooters, the deck is quite thick. That's gonna help with durability, but it's mainly as a result of the battery being stored in here. Now, this is another difference between the Mantis Pro SE and the original Manti models. I'm gonna break this down for you in very simple terms. So, the Mantis base has a 17.5 amp battery with Chinese cells and has a range of between 30 and 40 miles. Then we have the Mantis Pro SE, and this scooter has an 18.2 amp battery with LG cells and a range between 30 and 40 miles. Then we have the Mantis Pro. The Mantis Pro has a 24.5 amp battery with LG cells and a range of between 45 and 55 miles. So depending on what you're after, if you want a super long range scooter, then the Mantis Pro is gonna be your best bet. But if you don't mind shaving off a few of those miles, from the Mantis Pro and you still want the luxury that comes with that, such as the dual hydraulic brakes, then the Mantis Pro SE is gonna be your best bet. Now you may be asking yourself why, because the Mantis Base and the Mantis Pro SE share the same range of between 30 and 40 miles. And there's also not much within their amp hours. I think that equates to 0.7 extra amp hours in the Mantis Pro SE, but the difference lies in the cells that are used in each battery. The Mantis Base uses those cheaper Chinese cells, whereas the Mantis Pro SE has the LG cells that have been tried and tested to show excellent performance and not deteriorate. And by that, I mean you will get a lot more charge cycles where you get maximum battery performance from LG cells than you would in cheaper Chinese cells. So if you want a scooter that still has a respectable maximum range of up to 40 miles, and you want one that's gonna last you the test of time, then the Mantis Pro SE is your scooter. Now that we've covered what's in the deck of the scooter, let's take a look at what's on the top fit. 
is completely covered in this rubber matting. Feels nice to the touch. Now, one different thing about the matting on the deck compared to other scooters that I've reviewed is that it peels up. So you can see here that it peels up all the way around the scooter and it's the same on this side as well. Now it's not ideal, I would prefer the matting to stay sort of glued completely around the scooter, but the reason for this is so that the battery can be unscrewed and pulled out easily. This might not have an impact on ride quality, but we're gonna put out a full review of the Mantis Pro SE. So subscribe to the channel and keep your eyes out for that one and we'll talk about the, the flappy mat on that review. To finish up on the deck, we have this big reinforced kick plate at the back of the scooter. To be honest, all performance scooters that go over 30 to 35 miles per hour should have a kick plate. Helps you to lean into your ride, put your back foot on here, your front foot here, hands on the handlebars, on the grips, and lean forward into the ride and you'll be good to go. Then directly below the kick plate, you have the rear fender. Now I saw on Jimmy Chang's review of this scooter, that when he was riding he was getting quite a lot of dirt and water splashed up on his back there is room for improvement here it would be nicer to see the the fender elongated a little bit more to stop that but again i'll report on that in our review that we do as well to see how we get on just to close up the unboxing we have the big 10 inch air filled tire to match the one at the front the rear hydraulic disc brake the gold swing arms and the spring suspension and that is the Mantis Pro SE. So let's recap on the performance. You have dual 60 volt, 1000 watt motors with dual 27 amp mini motors controllers. All of that technology combined will give you a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour and a rapid acceleration rate that will get you from zero to 50 miles per hour in just two seconds. Then you have that 18.2, LG battery that is capable of giving you a range of between 30 and 40 miles. The scooter weighs 65 pounds. It can support up to 265 pounds, which is 120 kilos. And let's not forget the Mantis Pro has been voted time and time again as the best electric scooter. But if you want to save a little bit of cash and get all that the Pro has to offer, minus a bit of the mileage, then the Mantis Pro SE is the way to go. Now, just before we close up the review, I did promise you guys that I would give you an overview of the differences between this scooter and the other Manti models. So let's start with the motors. The motors are the same across all scooters. The battery, we've covered the battery already. Just to recap, the Mantis base, 17.5 amp battery with Chinese cells, 30 to 40 miles. Mantis Pro SE, 18.2, amp battery with LG cells, 30 to 40 miles. Mantis Pro, 24.5 amp battery with LG cells, 45 to 55 miles. Next up, the brakes. Again, the Mantis base has semi-hydraulics and both the Mantis Pro SE and the Mantis Pro both have full hydraulics. Then when it comes to the display and trigger throttle, the Mantis base has the QS S4 display, whereas the Mantis Pro SE and Mantis Pro both have the i Mini Motors display. There are also some differences between the scooters when it comes to build quality. The Mantis Pro SE has a reinforced stem and stem bolt, which eliminates stem wobble, but also makes a scooter far more durable. Then the motor depth is a little bit bigger and the bolts are slightly longer and this just helps to prevent bolts from shearing and improves the overall quality of the scooter. The most obvious aspect of this scooter that is different from the other Manti models is the gold trim on the end of the handlebars and on the swing arms. And again, that's unique to Voro Motors with the Mantis Pro Special Edition. And the final difference between the scooter and the other models is that it has blue LEDs that run the entirety of the deck as opposed to white. And of course, probably the biggest question that you have is what is the difference in the price? Well, the Mantis base costs $1,649. The Mantis Pro SE comes in at $1,899. And the Mantis Pro is $2,299. 
The Mantis Pro and Mantis Base are available in the UK. I'm not sure if the Mantis Pro SE is, but keep your eyes peeled, it might be out there. But currently, I believe it's just available from Voro Motors. So again, if you would like to pick yourself up a Mantis Pro SE, head over to Voro Motors. You can either scan this code, which I'll put here, or click on the link in the description. And guys, comment below. Let me know what other scooters you would like to see us review on the channel. We can do unboxings, we can do reviews, we can compare scooters against each other. You guys just let me know what you would like to see and I will try and organize that for you. It's our mission to bring you the best electric scooter unboxings and reviews. So let us know, we're here to help. Any questions that you've got, I'll be replying to people in the comments. Thank you again, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.